Right then guys, uh, yep, you got me again, unfortunately. Um, right, uh, basically today what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover the same as what I've covered already with MOTs, but on paper. Uh, this was made in a comment um, from Traddy Trev. Uh, I hope I've pronounced that right, mate. Um, and he said basically the first principles of understanding stuff, you know, you should be able to understand it on paper. Um, so... I completely agree with that. Um, that's what this video is going to be about today. Right now, the disclaimer. Okay, do not trust everything I say. Okay, I do not know everything. Um, I don't claim to know everything. I don't think I know everything. This is not to be copied at home. Okay, I'm saying this because I say I say this. It is very difficult. You tell a kid not to do something. What do they do? They do it. Okay, at least if they are going to do it, they're going to do it properly. Okay, I'm not teaching them. I am. I'm trying to teach people, not not children. I'm trying to trying to teach people the basic transformer thingies, and it just so happens that I'm using MOTs because I've got so many of them. They're easy to to use. That you know. Okay, so another reason: don't trust everything I say. Okay, I made a bit of a mistake. Um, I've got on my bench um, two blue sockets, one AC, one DC, and in actual fact I didn't find out until yesterday when Sparky Projects made a comment on my video saying um, you do know that your blue DC one should actually be white. Well, I didn't know that, I'm not going to lie, didn't know it. Um, there are many different colour sockets and there are four different things. Uh, and one of those sockets in white Okay, it's going to cost me £60 plus VAT plus postage, and that's without a plug for it. So, unfortunately, yeah, I know, rough dog, um, I'm going to paint it white. Okay, now another thing I wanted to comment on Beanbox Deluxe made a very good comment about cable ratings. Now, when I was talking about cable ratings, I should have stressed more on the point that it's good practice to try and use the right colour cables with the right colour sockets and plugs but it's actually more important it's actually not even more important it's uh, there's no words to describe how important it is to use the right colour sockets okay the right colour plugs for the right, right voltage ratings and and whatever okay these plugs comes it come in yellow blue or orange purple white you know red there's there's so many of them. Um, check it out on Wiki. I'll even try and add a link to the to the Wiki page for you so you can figure it out. So anyway, let's get on with the video in hand. Um, I'm just going to, have to turn it around, and here we have two transformers. Now this is not how you would see MOTs. These are um, these actually have floating secondaries. Floating secondary means it's not connected to earth there's a reason for this something again I learnt last night they use these in shader sockets um, now that would be cast as an isolation transformer so in the right case very very safe in the case of MOTs not safe okay so this is how you generally see a schematic um, these dots mean the phase of the transformer okay I'm just going to move Right, so then let's go on with it. Here we have a setup for 2kV. Right, we're using two 700 watt MOTs. And as you will see, we have a live coming in here and it goes to the dot. And it comes across here over, it's not connected and it goes to the dot so these are in phase okay because remember the dots are the phase of the transformer now you can't guarantee two MOTs you could have one dot here on an MOT you could have one dot here we'll cover that in phasing um, in another video and how to make sure you've correctly phased the transformers correctly okay um, so same again you've got the neutral coming in to no dot 
and it comes across yeah you'll see I made a bit of a bodge on my picture comes across and it goes to my node again so these primaries are in phase okay right so primaries are in phase you have to excuse the colour of my um, earth it's green and blue um, but unfortunately my printer and on camera especially has made it look a little bit brown but this is earth you can see the earth symbol earth symbol and we're linking the two cores together because remember this is the core of the transformers okay so right we've got these linked okay so they are now officially centre tapped okay now a lot of people if they were going to draw it would probably draw the earth lead coming in here so it makes it more you know you can see more why it's called a centre tapped transformer because the tap's sort of in the centre of the two secondary windings so our aim is to get 2000 volts at 1400 watts again assuming these are 700 watt MATs so we take the same phase and the same phase and join them together now these are going to be the spade connectors generally MOTs only have one spade connector and the chassis is the other connection remember okay so remember these are the phasing dots so we're taking the same phase okay of the outputs we're joining them together and even though yes you've got 2 kV coming out here 2 kV come out here if they're on the same phase if you try and arc these together there will be no arc okay you can join them together obviously not plugged in turned on or anything you won't be touching any of this when it's turned on um, but if you were to try and make an arc between these they won't because they're in phase it has to be out of phase to create an arc okay so instead of adding 2 kV to 2 kV what you're actually doing is you're getting 2 kV at 1400 watts so you are using both of the transformers like you're, you're basically doubling the ampage to, to what you'd be getting and obviously the other um, connection from the transformer is to a zero volt reference to earth okay so you've got zero volts 2000 volts at, at, at double the amps okay now then we want 4 kV so we remember the phasing from last time the dots okay we've got live coming in to a dot and then it comes across and it goes to no dot okay therefore it's out of phase same with the neutral neutral goes to no dot and to a dot so these are out of phase again make sure safety first you've got your two cores joined um, you know and you've got your earth joined again it would generally be shown coming from here but I want to just make it a bit easier so you didn't have lapping wires everywhere okay so now the primaries are out of phase okay you can now take these two again spade connectors we're not going to be using any other wires coming off the core for this type got the two spade connectors one on each transformer and you've got the same phase but you haven't got the same phase anymore although the dot would say that so theoretically now they're actually out of phase on the primary but actually out of phase on the secondary so really that dot shouldn't be there that dot should be here now okay so you take 2 kV 2 kV they're now out of phase because we're getting rid of that dot and putting it there okay so 2 kV plus 2 kV equals 4 kV again do not connect this up just to the mains you need a ballast guys I'm going to turn you around very quickly um, basically guys do not try this at home unless you are competent in what you are doing do not take everything I say religiously constructive criticism is the way we learn um, it's the way we point things out so comment make videos 
do stuff, um, get involved and, you know, I'm not afraid to have constructive criticism, so go for it.